Hi everyone and welcome, this is the Apostate Prophet. There is a certain prayer that Muslims make very often, that you can hear them say out loudly. It is a prayer that I myself used to make as well. In fact, when I was at the peak of my religiosity, and admittedly I was... I felt like I really need this because I felt so securely attached and so pleased with my religiosity and I thought this is my meaning of life. I don't want to get out of this. When I was at that peak of my religiosity, I made that prayer very frequently and that was, Allah, do not let me go astray. Please keep me firm on the right path. Strengthen my faith. Please don't let me go. Please don't let me change my mind. And I made this prayer myself. I know for a fact why I made that prayer. I still remember my mindset, which I had when I was making that prayer. I was so devoutly making that prayer because I knew that I have a very rapidly, unpredictably changing, volatile mind, that I can easily go through different ideas. And if my thoughts and my conclusions leave me, lead me to ideas that are different from the ones that I hold right now, then I might entirely change my worldview, because I will notice that I am completely wrong about something. And if I come to the conclusion that my current worldview, the Islamic worldview, is wrong, then this will shatter everything. The religiosity, the connection, my slave mentality that I have at that moment will be destroyed and I will possibly leave the faith. In that moment when I was so connected to Allah, as I thought, and I was so devoutly in submission to Islam, I was truly terrified of the possibility that I could, that my mind could at some point travel to different things, and that I could eventually conclude that Islam is false. In fact, what I was telling myself at that time, or I was praying to Allah, maybe I was telling Allah about that at that time, I was saying, I believe in the truth, and I know that it is true. I know with my heart that it is true. And if I ever turn away from my current creed and turn away from Islam altogether, then that will be false. I know today that what I believe in now is true, and my conviction that I will have then when I change my mind will be a false one. Please, Allah, protect me from that. Keep my mind firm and straight. This is what I thought back then. This is how I prayed to Allah. I begged him not to let me go astray. I sympathize with some people who make that same prayer, who hold that same position and who ask to be kept firm on the truth. And you know what I think about that now? I think that prayer was a prayer for stupidity. I essentially prayed to Allah so that he keeps me stupid. I could have just as well said, Oh Allah, Please, keep me stupid. Please, give me stupidity. Please, do not allow my mind to function. Please, make my brain dumber. Please, do not give me the ability to learn. Please, do not give me the ability to find out more. Please, Allah, do not make me intelligently figure things out and come to logical conclusions. Please, Allah, keep me as I am right now. I want to be stupid. That is essentially what I was praying for. It was a prayer for stupidity. I know it sounds very harsh, and I'm being really harsh on my old self right now, and very harsh on many others who still make this prayer, but isn't that what it is? What I was aware of back then is that I keep thinking and questioning and figuring things out and uh, coming to new conclusions and finding new information. And if I find new information which conflicts with the information that I hold right now, and I compare them and I conclude that the new found information is better than the information that I have, and that the new found information invalidates my current information, then I adopt this new information. Even if it means that I will deny and denounce my entire worldview and admit that I was wrong. I do that because I'm a functioning human being with an advanced mind, a human. As a religious Muslim, I was aware that my mind is still capable of that. And as I changed my mind in the past about things, I could as well change my mind now and leave Islam altogether because I would realize that Islam is false. And I basically duped myself. I fooled myself. And when I was a Muslim, I was praying that I would not have that ability anymore. Isn't that pretty dumb? As advanced intelligent beings, we are supposed to find out new information and learn and make progress. This is how we advance. This is how humans have advanced forever. This is how science develops. This is how philosophy even developed. This is how theology even developed. As a Muslim, however, 
you are supposed to tell yourself, and I was supposed to tell myself, not to think about certain things too much. In fact, Muhammad himself says in a certain uh, report, in a hadith, that Satan comes to you and asks you questions such as who created this and who created this and who created that, until he comes and asks you who created Allah. And if you come to that question, then you should seek refuge in Allah and abstain from such idle thoughts. That is Muhammad's method for us. That is his command to us, what we should do. If we have these very justified questions, old philosophical questions that we are supposed to think through and figure out, what we are supposed to do is to simply pray to Allah to seek refuge and to abstain from thinking about such things. So essentially, we are supposed to flee from the capabilities of our intelligent minds and pray for stupidity. Because Allah guides whom he wills and we should simply ask Allah to guide us. Don't think about all those things that will lead you astray from Allah. Just focus on Allah. Pray to him 24-7. Submit entirely. Forget about new information. Stick to the old information. Forget about different books. Stick to this book. The Quran does teach that those who are rightful, those believers, when they hear the verses of the Quran, then what they do is to simply say, I hear and I obey, unlike advanced intelligent human beings. Apparently we are advanced human beings with advanced minds, very intelligent beings, but we are not here to use that intelligence. All we have to do is to submit and to obey whenever Muhammad and Allah have decided something. It is not for us to further have any say so I ask Allah to keep me stupid. I know I can already hear the joke. Yes, your wish has been fulfilled. But I'm very happy that Allah did not fulfill my prayer. I'm very happy that I have decided to stay loyal to my nature, to the mind that I have, which is the only thing that I truly know. I hope more people can stop praying for stupidity. Thank you for listening and stay away from Islam.